Welcome to Trans Design TV, coming to you from the Transportation Design Department at Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. This episode, Chip Foose. You might have heard of Chip. He does have his own TV show. He's like a mad scientist of cars, creating custom hot rods in his shop in Orange County. This is a brand new Corvette. We're pulling the body and all the exterior panels off. We get down to the raw chassis. We've got a 65 Impala. We're gonna change the proportions of that car, shorten it a little bit. We're gonna extend the wheelbase on this chassis, and then we're gonna mate the two cars together. It's easy to come up with an idea. It's what you do with that idea that's hard. I graduated Art Center in December of 1990. Welcome to Foos Design. This custom Barracuda cost well over half a million dollars to build. Other TV shows will remain nameless, where you got a goldfish in the back and a dry cleaner or a donut machine or a car that mows the grass. I mean, I want the car to be a car, not a margarita make. I watch it, it's fun, but at the end of the day, I don't want to drive that car. I want this car. I told the guys when we built this car, it's the difference between having a Cuda or the Cuda. This one debuts <laughs> awesome. Friday at the Playboy match. You could buy a new Corvette with what we got in bumpers along. You want to know about this car? It's a 70 Cuda is what it started out as. My goal is to make the car look more like what uh, I would perceive the original designers wanted it to be. All the body lines are made much crisper. We just treat it like a show car would have been back in 69, but then we put all brand new running gear in it, new suspension, larger diameter wheels, and we just had some fun with it. I had a girlfriend that had a, she had a Plymouth Arrow that was <laughs> on its last leg. She called me because her car was dying. She says, can I get you to do some work on my car? She was at school, because she was gonna be gone for two weeks. Yeah. So I went and found this Carmigia which was a total because it had been wrecked. Yeah. But right before it was totaled, it had been completely restored. It had brand new drivetrain in it and all new interior. And I went to the wrecking yard and I bought a new quarter and a new door. I ended up splicing it all together, putting it all together. And it was basically it was the first overhaul because I did it yeah. by myself yeah. in without two weeks. Knowing, yeah. To surprise somebody. Knowing. Yeah. And I had it sitting right next to her, her Plymouth Arrow at the shop, which the yeah. arrow, I left it right where she parked it. Yeah. And Never it was filthy dirt. <laughs> came down. She pulls into my truck on yeah. the other side of the gear. Yeah. She says, well, you could have washed it. Yeah. I said, well, actually, I painted it. And I handed her the keys, and she looked at the keys, and I said, it's not this one, it's this one. She turned around, she was completely <laughs> oh, But later so, on, we ended up selling the car to Stu, and he gave it to his daughter. My daughter? Yeah. It was my daughter's car. Uh, for a while. Nancy and I drove it across Route 66. It yeah. was a 66 deal. Uh, I don't think I had a choice. My dad built cars, and I grew up in a house where we had cars in the garage, he was working on cars on the weekends. I just fell in love with that stuff. And my dad would bring back, you know, bring home these cases of model kits. I would break into these cases, not knowing that these were cars that my dad wanted to save. And he'd come home, be upset with me because I've, I've destroyed them with glue all over my fingers, putting them together. The bug bit me, and still to this day, I love the model kits, I love the real cars. It's just a continuation of my childhood. Just follow your heart. You know, if you'd like to draw, just draw and draw what you want to draw. If you like to build models, build what you want to build. It's real easy to build something for somebody else. Now it's your chance, Art Center is your chance to do what you really want to do. There's not a greater natural high in the world than stepping back and looking at what you and a group of guys have just achieved. It's not just a career, but it's a lifestyle. It's, we eat, breathe, sleep, and drink this. This is what we love to do. Join us next time on Trans Design TV when we uncover the life of an Art Center student 